Hello there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friends with me Alan. If you're a returning subscriber then thanks for popping by and showing your support. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for the latest in whiskey reviews then you've come to the right place. Uh, you may want to click that subscribe button down below and remember to hit the notifications bell so you're kept up to date whenever I'm putting out a new video. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be covering the Isle of Arran, 14 year old. Uh, I've been hearing great things about his whiskey recently. Uh, I have my trusty sample again today. So uh, without any further ado, let's give it a go. Wonderful. Today's whiskey, the Arran 14 year old. Uh, let's say it's from the Isle of Arran. It's out there on Loch Ranza, a beautiful little part of Arran. Um, it's typically Arran, it's 46% ABV, non chill filtered, and all natural colour. Just how we like it, that colour is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice, what would you call that? It's like a nice light gold colour, beautiful colour. So today guys I'm just going to get straight into this nose of this whiskey, this Aaron 14 today, uh, no messing around. Wow, straight up front, it's sweet, it's fruity, you've got that caramel, toffee, citrus, it's a real nice citrus note, but it's honey and vanilla, lots of honey, lots of vanilla. Beautiful, beautiful, sweet. Beautifully engaging nose. I think I'm going to enjoy this one, guys. Wow, wow, wow. It's quite, it's quite a little bit of spice there as well. I think there's some ginger, some sage. But it's, the first thing that hits you is the, the fruity sweetness. I've had a lot of Aaron's in the past, there is all different types of finishes. This one is predominantly 12 years in ex-bourbon casks and then it has a two year finishing in some fresh bourbon and sherry casks which is giving us a real real sweet fruity nose, beautifully engaging. But I can tell it's it's a busy, busy whiskey, and it's there's a, there's some complexity on the nose. There's lots and lots going on. Beautiful, beautiful nose. Wow, wonderful. Going to look forward to this. Just a little bit about Aaron, guys. Uh, Aaron was purchased in 1994 uh, with the intentions of building a distillery on Aaron. Back in the day there was about 50 distilleries in Aaron, uh, all illicit, uh, lots of smuggling going on, lots of bootlegging, um, I've been to Aaron myself and I can't believe there'd been 50 distilleries on there, they must have kept them hidden well, but the plan was to build a distillery in uh, 1994, uh, unfortunately during construction there was a pair of golden eagles came along and decided to build a nest. Uh, just in the vicinity of the distillery as you, I'm not sure if you're aware of but the golden eagles are protected species so construction of the distillery was held up until 1995 and the golden eagles were all safe and happy and Aaron went on to produce some fantastic whiskey I know there is a intention to build another Aran distillery on the island uh, and this time it's going to be the peated version. Uh, back in 2010 uh, Aran uh, started making the Macrimur uh, peated whiskies. Uh, I think I have one, yeah just check, a couple of bottles of Macrimur. This is the cast strength one, very very nice stuff, 58.5 uh, this one so it's Fantastic whiskey. Aaron's master distiller is a man called James McTaggart. 
Uh, haven't had the pleasure of meeting them yet. I did just see I did pay the distillery a visit, did the tour, did the whiskey tasting. I uh, had a great time. What a beautiful place Aaron is. Didn't pick the best of times to go as I see I went in the dark, dark November, but it was still a fantastic trip and had a great time. Uh, James McTaggart's been distilling in, uh, in the, the whiskey business for the last 40 years. Oh, sorry, at the distillery they have four stills. They have two wash stills and two spirit stills and they're producing 750,000 litres of spirit annually. It's also able, you're, as, as whiskey connoisseurs, you're, if you want to purchase a, a personalised barrel of Aaron Spirit, then you can certainly go ahead and do that. You just have to contact the distillery to do that. So it's a great little uh, enterprise going on there. Aaron predominantly produces its whiskey in ex bourbon casks, uh, American white oak casks, and they do some sherry casks. Uh, so there's quite a bit of casking going on there at Aaron. So now we've got that little bit of Aaron trivia out of the way, let's crack on with the taste of this Aaron. Aaron 14, Slange folks. Looking forward to this. Okay on the palate, it's a little bit of heat, I say it's 46% ABV, unchill filtered in natural colour. So initially there's that little bit of heat but in a nice way, um, it's spicy, it's fruity, it's sweet. So all the things on the nose are there on the palate, it's, as it's developing it's it's quite a long development. Again, there's lots, there's lots going on, lots of complexity. It's getting spicier, but it's also fruity. Some apples. I'm actually picking up some tropical fruit now. Maybe a little bit of pineapple. A little bit of banana. Let's go in for a second sip. Wow, this is great, guys. Lots of vanilla, lots of honey, a little bit of cereal note, a little bit malty, but wow it's, this is complex guys, for 14 years there's a lot going on here, picking up a little bit of sherry, I don't think there's a lot of sherry going on in it, but there's a little bit of sherry in the background, as it develops it's getting spicier and spicier. The heat's still there. At 46%, you may want to add a little bit of water to this, guys, if you want to tone the heat down a little bit. When you do that, you will find the clouding coming up, so it's the, the scotch mist. Uh, you will get a bit of that. I'm not going to put water in it today, guys, because I, I prefer it without the water. But it's sweet. It's a little bit salty. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. If you've tried this Aaron Malt, guys, drop us a little comment down below, tell me what you think of it. But, as I say, I'm, I'm quite a fan of Aaron. I've got lots of bottles of Aaron whiskey. I don't have a bottle of 14 in the cabinet yet, but after tasting this, I think that might happen pretty soon. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So see, it's getting a little bit salty, a little bit minty. Wow, there's lots and lots going on. And it's, as I say, there's lots of fruit, lots of sweetness. It's got a fantastic mouthfeel, coats the mouth beautifully. There's only one thing left to do, guys, isn't there? Let's have another sip. Wow. Again. On the finish, it's medium, medium to long, spicy, fruity, sweet, malty. That cereal's there on the finish as well. Minty, and it's got a little bit nutty as well. So there's lots and lots going on with this whiskey. Superb stuff. I'm very, very impressed with this. 
as I say, I've got the R&R, R&A team as well to try, so I may do that in a future video, see what it does with the extra four years. Uh, they're both bottled at 46, so it seems to be a standard bottle in it, uh, Aaron is 46%, which is wonderful. Wow, this is super, super complex, again. wonderful, wonderful stuff. So to conclude guys, this is beautiful. Uh, on the nose it's sweet and fruity, little touch of spice, lots of caramel. Through the palate, the caramel's there, the honey's there, the vanilla's there, the orchard fruits are there, the apples, tropical as well, pineapple and banana. And I see it goes straight on into the finish where the spice comes to the fore a little bit more in the finish. Turns a little bit salty, still fruity, still sweet, and it goes nutty at the end. But all in all, wonderful, wonderful stuff, guys. So, again, thanks for watching. As I say, if you've not subscribed, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button down below, and remember to hit the bell. Uh, and until next time, guys, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend, the pleasure is in the sharing. Lunch.